for round two. We still have a few more packages over here to open up right over here. Another big box and some other packages that seem like they have more than one. So let's see what we've got today. Okay. Hmm. This one says from Interlink Publishing Group. So... It's really fun to get to see all these books from these publishers. I know a lot of people often have questions like how do you start that collaboration? And um, I actually didn't really reach out until I had, I think, 10,000 followers. And I was like, oh, I think I think they'll want to work with me because I finally have like 10K. But I have heard you actually don't need 10K, my friends. If you have like 1,000 followers, 2,000, as long as you're sharing the books on Instagram and tagging them, they really just want, you know, to share their work. And oh, I'm so excited for this one, actually. The Arab Fairy Tale Feast, a literary cookbook. So cooking and reading are my favorite things. And with my little learners, cooking is like their favorite thing in the world. They love baking. So I am so excited for this one because it seems like there's a story in it and then the story is like mixed with recipes while you're reading it oh my goodness this is going to be an amazing arab fairy tale feast a literary cookbook i can't wait to share more about this one too uh there's other cookbook children's books out there do you have any suggestions of other ones this, this is going to be amazing all right so this next one i'm just going to use my scissors it has a little pulley tab but for some reason it's not working so sometimes those don't work even though they usually make it easier so let's go ahead and take a look yeah uh oh so two oh my goodness so cute so this says shabbat shalom and we go to show this is from candlelit press and these two little board books super cute uh jewish board books for our jewish friends or little learners learning about different religions out there as well can't wait to share more of these let's see we have this box right here from harper collins Ooh, i think i know what this is and wait maybe i don't know what this one is let's see there's a couple very cool campaigns they have coming up so actually i'm not let me see what it is and see if I can actually share it with you because sometimes they don't want us to share beforehand um, what it is before the posting date, you know? Just to build anticipation. But I might have already shared that this book is coming out because I have been super excited about it. And let me take a look and see what it is. Oh, that's a hard box to open. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, look, this one. Oh. So this one is actually a weird one. I actually, they had a campaign posting date and the book just never arrived. So I had to email them and be like, oh, I'm so sorry. Um, Can you send the book and I promise I'll post it. And look at this. Hugo Sprouts and the Strange Case of the Beans. This would also be a great one and I feel like a Halloween uh, collection. But I think I'll probably feature it earlier because it's super cool for science too. It's this little boy who wishes he was bigger and then he becomes like this giant. And look at just how beautiful those illustrations are. Also, John Lauren um, did this Frankenstein Halloween book last year that was super cute and popular, so very excited to have more from him. All right, this is our last one, friends. Our last box. It's also another heavy one. So let's see what we got here. I'm going to use my scissors to open up this cardboard. Usually it's easier. Ah, oh, it's hard to lift to do it. Let's see from upside down. That's a little weird. Okay. Oh my goodness. We got another big box. Go ahead and take a look and see. Ooh, this one is also full with, ah, you got a super duper close up full with books. And I think these are also from Chronicle Kids again. So let's take a look. Let me fix this a little bit. There we go. My Christmas wish for you. I'm pretty sure it is because uh, it is more from them. Oh my gosh. They're just like stocking my whole library this month. The Christmas wish for you. Oh, already Christmas thing is coming out. This looks adorable. This reminds me of, um, and I have it somewhere on my shelf, but this one, the sky is the limit. If you remember this one, it's by the same people, has the same style. Oh, such an adorable one. This is going to be so precious. Can't wait for this one. Oh, I can't wait for Christmas collections. Another board book, Hide and Seek Peekaboo. Looks super cute. Board books are so fun. Oh, Tiny T, Rex. Tiny T is so fun. And look at that. And the tricks of, and the tricks of treating. These little board books are so cute. I had the perfect Valentine one. was adorable. And now they have a Halloween one. Can't wait for this one. Oh my gosh. The Halloween collections this year are going to be amazing. Every Little Kindness looks beautiful. Look at that, my friends. Oh, I think it's a wordless picture book. Look at those beautiful illustrations, huh? Wordless picture books are so cool because you can really make up whatever story you want. Can't wait for that one. 
pop-up guide to vehicles. Oh my goodness, look at that. Ah, oh, pop-up books are so fun. Sometimes I should be careful with like the really little ones, like pulling them apart, but visually so pleasing. And I know little ones really like cars and trucks and stuff. Ultimate Spotlight Polar Animals. Ooh, this one, another interactive one. Look, watch this. Ah, it's blowing its spot. Very cool. Again, I love nonfiction reads, and especially these books are so interactive with flats and so many cool information in it. So much cool information. Not a unicorn. Look at this. So I get, let's get something straight. I'm not a magical creature. So this is actually about a girl who is like born with a horn. So she just has a horn on her head, like a unicorn. And it's about her life, which is really intriguing, right? A middle grade read. Mm, curious about that one. Oh, look at this one. A little baby Yeti. Ah, these little finger puppet books are so cute for little babies. Another fun winter one. Animals with 45 magnet pieces. What in the world? Okay, so this is really cool. So it has this pocket of magnets, I think, and all these are magnet sheets for you to stick on animals. Amazing. People are getting so clever with books these days. I cannot believe it. He came with the couch. Ah, look at this little guy. Came with his special couch. Looks like a fun little dude. And, oh, ooh, look at this one. So this is a paperback version. Hmm, maybe I can do a giveaway of one of these copies, hardback or paperback. Hmm. Let's be safe. Oh, another board book, but look at this. Look at this interactive thing. Isn't that cool? Like the panels, you pull them and then the picture changes based on the panel. I think that's really clever too. There you go, that's a better angle. Another one. Oh, Ganesha's Sweet Tooth. This looks beautiful. I'm loving these diverse oh, reads. Look at these illustrations, my friends. That style is stunning. A board book, but oh my gosh, I have the hugest sweet tooth too. So, mm. do you like sweets? I really like sweets. When we went on our honeymoon, shaved ice was, we had it like every day. Uh, oh, another book. So this is another paperback version. This one's coming September 2021. Again, maybe I can do a giveaway of this one and the other one for middle grade reads. So I have a couple copies. And Death and Sparkles. I've been so excited for this. Rob Justice is so funny. He did um, the book Kid Coach about the dad, um, the kid who tries to teach his dad how to be a wrestler. And it's a picture book. But now he just made a graphic novel. And this looks like an advanced copy. Final book will be in full color. But look how fun that looks. Ah, about uh, death and sparkles. So this little unicorn guy and some this other creature. Can't wait to read this. Oh, okay. Well, my friends, that actually brings us to the end of this unboxing. I am now surrounded by like piles of books and um, have lots of organizing to do. I'm going to show you real quick. I also have this shelf of books right over there. I hope you can see it. That I need to kind of sort through and put on shelves. And as you can see behind me, my shelves are kind of running out of space. So I'm going to have to switch them out. I like to donate them to the Little Free Library at the Rising Co. Little Local Co-op. But for now, my friends, that's all I have for you today. Let me know what you want to see more of. Again, if you like these unboxing videos, other content you want to see. I love creating these videos and getting to kind of chat with you like this. And not quite in person, but still fun. So otherwise, my friends, until next time, happy reading.